Hi, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we're going to hammer on the, um, the topic that we started in the previous video, which is about using substitution rule to integrate functions. Okay, so let's just get diving into this particular video. All right, so we basically said that in substitution rule, so in substitution rule, what do we look out for? We try to find if in uh, among the two um, functions that you have, among the two functions that you have, if one of the if we can differentiate one of the functions to give us the other one, or something similar, then we would say that what substitution would work very well for such problem. Now. Let's take a look at this particular problem that we have. Now let's look at the first one. So you always focus on differentiating on of um, you always focus on differentiating the denominator, right? Because that combination, the right combination, should be in such a way that the numerator will be cancelled out, right? In the process. So you focus on differentiating the denominator to see if the derivative of this denominator can remotely give us the numerator times a constant, right? Where when the constant is one, that makes it even perfect, okay? So now let's take the derivative of this. This is simply what? All right. Let's differentiate this. This is just basically differentiation of this function. And we know differentiation of exponential function is just, um, this is gonna be chain rule. So it's just gonna be three e raised to power three x, right? So because when we differentiate e raised to power three x to give us, we differentiate the external function multiplied by derivative of the internal one. So derivative of external is e raised to power three x. Derivative of the internal is just three. So you have that. Then minus the derivative of one is just zero. So we have this. Now notice that what this is just the same thing as the numerator multiplied by a constant. So we know we can use substitution rule. So let's go ahead and use it. So substitute u for the denominator such that du dx would now be what? Again, exactly what you have here, which is three e raised to power three x, okay? So we differentiate u with respect to x, we have three e raised to power three x. Now make the x subject of formula that would give us du over three e raised to power three x, okay? Now, um, so it's quite easy to do this. All you just need to do is just cross multiply and then you have the x here, then divide both sides by what? Three e raised to power three x for you to get du over three e raised to power three x. As your dx. Now we are ready to substitute. Remember, we're not do touching the numerator. It's always there, but it's, it's gonna get canceled out over the denominator is the, um, we've replaced it with u times, um, sorry, I think I forgot the x here, times the x, what is the x? The x is now du over three e raised to power three x. So you see this will now cancel out and what you would have left is one over three u du, okay? Now you can take the one over three out, don't forget you can do that. So integral of one over u du is just the same thing as what one over three lean u. Don't forget plus a constant. Okay. So what does this give us? One over three lean u. What is u? U raised to power three x minus one plus a constant. So this will be the solution to that problem. What about the second one? Integral of what dx over x log x base e. Now notice that um, log x base e is just the same thing as lin x, right? Don't forget, it's just the same thing as lin x. Now, we know there's a relationship between lin x and one over x, right? Because um, just check it out. If I focus on this, derivative of lin x is just one over x. Now, can we get one over x from here? Absolutely. What do we do is we take this x to the numerator. So that will be one over x divided by lin x dx. So now we know that what we can get one over x from, from finding the derivative of lin x. So we can use substitution rule. So just make u equal to the denominator. You can see how 
tricky these problems could be, but we're just thinking our way through the problems, right? Um, sometimes substitution will not work, but it's good to first of all try substitution whenever you have a problem. If that doesn't work, you look at all the other avenues. Now, the nature or the way the problem comes at you will determine which method you're going to use to approach. And there are lots of lots of methods in terms of integration. Okay, we'll be looking at more of those as we go along in the video or in future videos. So let's just complete this problem. Now, u is this, so du dx would give us one over x, which means make the x of our formula, which means the x is just du divided by one over x, okay? Now that you have this, substitute into the problem, which means one over x over u times dx, which is du over one over x. You can see one over x will now cancel one over x, so all you have is du over u, which is lean u plus c. Now, what is u? Lin, um, u is what? Lean x. So the answer will be lean of lean x plus c. This will be your final answer to the problem. OK, that's for problem two. What about problem three? It's just going to be the same principle, right? I, I think you can already guess. It's going to be the same principle, right? So you have. Um, so so um, it's going to be the same principle, right? So what do we have? We have 1 over 1 plus x squared tan inverse of x dx, OK? Now, once you see this relationship, remember all you need to do is to find out if the derivative of one function would give us the other one. It turns out that what the derivative of tan inverse of x. Now you have to know this. The derivative of one inverse of x is one over one plus x squared, okay? So this is something that you have to know prior, but we can actually prove that this is true, right? Um, make sure, um, and, you, and this is done using inverse um, function differentiation. Check my previous videos on derivatives. They would help you in understanding how to do that. But for now, take it that what derivative of tan inverse of x will give us one over one plus x squared. So what does that mean? It means that, oh, we can see one over one plus one plus x squared here. So all we need to do is move this to the numerator, then divide by tan inverse of x. Don't forget your dx. So we can now make the substitution for tan inverse of x. And then du dx would give us exactly one over one plus x squared as we've already established. Now make the, um, the x subject of formula and that will give us du divided by one over one plus x squared, okay? I think that is fair. Now we come back to the integral, which is one over one plus x squared, all divided by what? Tan inverse of x, which we have already substituted u for, multiplied by what dx, and what is dx? du over one plus one plus x squared. Now you can see one over one plus x squared would also cancel out, and you would have one over u du. And what does this give us? Again, the integral of one over u du is gonna be lean u plus c. And what is u? u is just tan inverse of x. Plus C. And this will be the answer to that problem. You can see how substitution makes everything really, really easy. Okay. Now, what about the fourth problem? Okay. Um, we have, um, okay, so um, I think if I'm not mistaken, the fourth problem we have one over cube root of one of one minus three y dy, right? Let's check again to make sure that is correct. Yes, um, that is correct. Okay. Now, again, substitution will, will come to aid us in this particular problem. Now, the first thing that you have to do is write this in terms of um, as, a, as a fractional power, right? So, and that would give us one minus three y raised to the power one over three dy. And then we can take it up by writing it as what? Raised to the power minus one over three dy. Now you're ready to go. 
Now, this just seems like you are integrating a polynomial. So all you need to do is remember, as long as the derivative of this, right, is going, it's just going to be constant, then that makes sense. If it has a variable attached to it, then it will not make sense because we will not have anything here to cancel out the variable. What I mean is, let's say we take the derivative of one minus, let's say this is what we had, right? Now, if we substitute a value for this, the derivative of this function, one minus three, three y squared will be minus six y. But we need this variable to cancel out with something else, but we don't have any other variable here. If we had, let's say two x here, then it will still make sense to use substitution. But if you don't have any other variable here, then that means that this method would not work, right? Because you would be having an extra y once you do the substitution and you don't want to have that. But the way the problem is set up for us now is quite easy and it's quite straightforward. So we can use substitution directly um, because the derivative of this function would be a constant, which we don't have any problem with when we have a constant, right? So, so we, make the, uh, we make the substitution u to be one minus three y, okay? And what is the u dy? I think is very clear, it's gonna be zero minus three. So that was gonna be minus three, right? Derivative of this is zero, derivative of this with respect to y is minus three. Okay, now what is the y? Remember we'll make the y, we'll always make this subject of formula, okay? So the y would be the u over minus three. So now we are ready to substitute. So what we have is um, one minus three y raised to the power minus one over three. So one minus three y is u, that means u raised to the power minus one over three times dy, what is dy? du over minus three. So what do we have? We now we just have minus one over three. So I'm just rewriting it, integral of u raised to the power minus one over three du. And now what does this give us? Can we integrate this? Yes, we can, because we know how to integrate polynomial function. So this will just give us, we increase the power by one, divide by that minus one over three, increase the power by one, plus our constant. So we just need to simplify this now. We have minus one over three, um, then u raised to the power minus one over three plus one, that would be, I think that would be th two over three. Then the same thing here, we are gonna have two over three plus c. Then rearrange this, then two over three, this three will now go up to the numerator, that becomes times three over two, u raised to the power two over three plus c. So you can see this three will cancel this three. So our answer is minus one over two, u raised to the power two over three plus c. And then we can now substitute what u is, what is u? One minus, one minus three y raised to the power two over three plus c. Now this is your answer to the problem, okay? Good, we are moving forward. Now, what's the next problem? Um, the fifth one. So let's just do the fifth one here. So what does, what does this say? We are going to integrate x e raised to the power x square all over e raised to the power x square plus three. Now, I think by now you can now see the, you can begin to see some pattern in these problems, right? That derivative of, of this denominator would give us, so derivative of e raised to the power x squared will be derivative of e, which is e raised to the power x squared, multiplied by derivative of the inside, which is two x, okay? Then plus zero. So the derivative of that is two x, e raised to the power x squared. Now we note that what we can, um, this is just the numerator multiplied by a constant. So, the, um, so we know that substitution will work. So all we need to do is just substitute the denominator as u. Then it happens that what du dx would be given as this two x e raised to the power x squared. Now we make the x subject of formula, don't forget, that will give us du over two x e raised to the power x squared. Now we substitute into the integral. The numerator remains here all over, the denominator is now u, then the dx is now du over 2x e raised to the power x squared. Now notice that what x e raised to the power um, x squared would cancel out. 
So what I would have left is one over two integral of one over u du. Notice that I always take the constant out, right? Because they do not affect the integration. Okay. So this is one over two lin u plus c. Again, what is u? u is what? e raised to power what? x squared plus three. Um, so sorry, so I missed lin. So that's one over two lin of u, where u is what e raised to power x squared plus three, then plus this constant. Perfect. So this is the solution to the fifth problem. Now we are in the last problem, which is integral of, so let's look at the prop, the last problem, which is integral of one over x log e x square dx. Like I mentioned before, we can write, it's always better to write log to base e as what lin x square dx, okay? It makes it crispy and it makes it really easy to see, right, what to do. Now notice that, so how do we handle this? Now, one thing that you would notice is we can rewrite lin function as what? Um, lin x square as two lin x, right? If you know the rule of what um, logarithm, anytime I have logarithm um, to um, to the um, logarithm to any base, right? X raised to power b. This can always be done by taking this b to the um, to the side. Then you have b log x base a. So this is the same rule I'm using. This is logarithm, right? So I can take two to the side. I'll have two lin x. So this, the problem becomes, oh, sorry. So the problem becomes taking one over two out, lean of what? Um, integral of what? X, lean X. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, right? So um, notice that you've already, we've already done this problem before, right? This is just basically mid substitution, U as what? Lin x because why are we doing that? Because we know that what we can take the x to the numerator and have this. So the derivative of lin x is one over x. So we know this everything. We know this one over x will cancel out. So we will make this substitution and then the u, the x will just be one over x, right? Which means what the x. Remember we always make the x a bit of formula the x will be du over one over x. Now solving this again, this would give us one over two integral of what? One over x over u times the x, which is du over one over x. So one over x will cancel out. So we are going to have one over two, one over u du, which is just one over two lin u plus c. Now what is u? Don't forget, that's one over two lin U was what? U was what? Um, lin x, right? Right? Um, I hope we're not making any mistake. Yes, lean of lin x, okay, plus c. So this would give us the final answer. All right, so this is how we use substitution to break all these problems down. Make sure you watch the video again if there's any parts that you have a problem with. Comment down below if there's any part that you want me to expand more on in another video, I'll be more than glad to do that. And then don't forget as usual, if you have not subscribed to the channel, now is the right time to subscribe, right? Please do subscribe to the channel. I think it will, um, the channel is doing good so far and I would want other students like you to benefit from this channel. So share it, um, like the videos, subscribe, to help the growth of the channel. So I'll see you guys in the next video.